Hey YouTube, Nero91 here, and I'm about to show you guys how the Nintendo DS emulator runs on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Alright, so, uh, let me go ahead and have my two. There's two different DS emulators. You have NDS for Droid, which is right here, and then you have, um, Tiger NDS. So, let me, um, slap these down here. I'm going to tell you the difference between these two because there is a difference when it comes to using these. And like, um, personally, I feel like the Tiger NDS plays smoother, but NDS for Droid, it has it where you can actually touch the bottom of the screen like a real DS. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate first. So when I go into the application, this one searches for ROMs all over your phone, internal, external, no matter where they're at in your phone. As long as you've downloaded the file and extracted it, when you extract it, it should be in a .nds format, like all these are. You can um, choose any one you want to play, you know. Got New Super Mario Bros. on her twice, but yeah, so I'm playing Yoshi's Island because this one runs the smoothest. So you have all your button, buttons, the left R, start, select, A, B, Y, X, and the D-pad. Now with this one, you see another button up here. What this button here in the top left does, it allows you to touch the screen like a real DS. So it says press start. I can't touch the screen. You know, I press A, I actually press start, but like a real DS, you should be able to touch it. So when I press this button in the top left, it may, you see it made all my icons go away. So because all my icons went away, now I can touch the screen, you know, and make a selection. When I try to load my game I was playing, but um, it freezes when I try to load it on this DS emulator. I'm on the wide freezing sometimes. But um for the most part it's actually pretty smooth. It's not uh well not like smooth smooth. Like I mean I think if you really wanted to play you can get some gameplay out of this. But um my icons back up here. Alright, so her is me playing I'm trying to Little jump button. Uh, you can, you do got multi touch, but sometimes the keys are off. But as you see, it's um the keys stick, so you can't really uh do it that good. The keys stick, but you can see how it plays. I'm trying to angle it to where y'all can see it. And sorry about the volume. Uh, I'm probably not gonna pick up my volume that good. But yeah, this. You know, they're gonna enemy. And it plays pretty smooth, you know, it's not it plays good on the Galaxy S2. It doesn't play like this on uh a lot of other phones. So that's with that one. On the Tiger NDS, it um is smoother, but you can't touch the screen like the other DS. And actually in order to play this, you'll um you have to have a folder called ROMs and it's the ROMs I think it's ROMs and then south the ROMs folder, put NDS and it's out the NDS folder, put um your ROMs in there, so I'm about to um, see if that's it. Oh, they got ROMs. Yeah, and they make a folder called NDS. And then that's where you put your um, ROMs at. So, yeah, that's how you play that one. So let, me go back, let me go through it. And when you do it, it automatically pulls them up to the folder you got them in. And I'm going to play Yoshi's Island again. And this one looks, it looks more polished. LNR is up here instead of in the middle. So I'm going to try to load my game. I hope that it loads without freezing. And here it goes. And this, the multi touch on this one is better. But again, it still sticks because when you press it once, you don't get a vibration after you press it again, really. But um, this one plays much smoother, as you can see. And that's with this one, but you can't like make, you can't touch the screen. You know, they haven't fixed that yet where you could touch the screen. But um, you see how smooth it plays, you know, just me just moving around. You see that it's not really that slow on this phone at all. I don't know why I can't jump on that guy's head. Like I said, the keys, they stick. And that could, that could be why. But yeah, but um, you see I can load this one, no, no problem. The other one, I didn't want to try it because it just freeze up. 
So yeah, that's the DS emulator running on the Galaxy S2 for T-Mobile. Be sure to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.